Now, Mr. Bell, you are one of the six survivors from the ill-fated R101 disaster. How many people were actually killed? Uh, Forty-eight. How did the crash happen? Well, I think the weather was against us. We were a bit heavy, and uh, we just nosedived and hit the ground. Well, I was in uh, the after engine gondola and that was slung below the ship, you see, about 20 feet. And after we hit the ground, a uh, water tank burst overhead and uh, so I stood in water while the flames passed around me. To ride the storm to an empire of the clouds To ride the storm they climbed aboard their silver gold A storm to a kingdom that will come to ride the storm and damn the rest oblivion
But the ship is in their backbone Every sinew, every inch She never flew at full speed A trial never done A fragile outer cover Her Achilles would become An Achilles yet to come Sails of the stars very funny for me when I heard the explosion. Being an Englishman, I rushed out and took my car. When I got to the car, I found one of my friends. We went straight. We went straight to the field. Because when we arrived there, we found the, the ship going up in flames. And we rushed through the field on foot. So the first man we took was Church. He was wounded. My friend took him to the hospital. And then the second man I got was Leach, an engineer. And we found the other two, Fix and Bell, coming out of the thing. It was a, it was rather funny sight and cruel sight. We couldn't hear anything. We went back through the ship and we tried to get in. We couldn't with the weather beating, rain, wind and the fire. We crushed through the first engine. We found nobody. A torch light that served us to go back and see if we couldn't find any possible human being living. We tried to find Lord Thompson first, we couldn't find anybody, we found only heaps of corpse burning. When we found the first car, it was horrible sight to see. The car was out there, but we broke the paint. Leach went up, called in it, asked, is there anybody in? It's terrible to hear, nobody answered. It was a cruel sight all the same, we got through the riggings afterwards. With a simple torchlight, we went through the burning riggings. We found a corpse there, which was completely carbonized. Then afterwards, we went a bit further. We didn't slip in the wild. We don't know how we did it. We called everywhere. No answer. For me, all the men were killed on the spot when the ship fell down. And no cries we heard under the rigging. Corpses in flame, we saw them. It was a dreadful sight when we saw there was nothing to do. We still continued. We found a pack of body was seven in the heat. Then afterwards we didn't count them. It was the middle of the ship, the worst part. We got out, we looked at the ship, and there was only one thing to do, which was about four to five three, to go back and phone to the air ministry in London. We went there and all the four other fellows were taken by brave men to the hospital in most cars. And we went and saw them with dreadful sight, all burnt in the faces and legs but very courageous men, for I must tell you one thing here, Leech, Fink and Bell. When they came out of the ship, the first thing they said, we must go back. We must go back, there might be some living here, we want to find Lord Johnson if we can, but it was a cruel thing. <laughs>
everybody in England. All I can say is that we should be very glad to all get back. And we hope to be back tomorrow. And the, the only sad thing about it is that we can't bring everybody else with us. the ship took a sudden dive. I had no idea where we were, of course. Took a sudden dive and she was pulled out of it again, got nice and trim again, and she said, in a short time after that, she dived again, which of course was the last of it. I mean, she struck the ground and on a hillside in Beauvais, northern France, and took fire. With young lights came the cry, mouth plunging from the sky. Thousand horses silent as the ship began to die. The flares to guide her path ignited at the last. The empire of the clouds, just ashes in our past. Just ashes at the last. After the experiences we've gone through, I think we shall all be eager to get back home again. But unfortunately, there's only we're having to leave behind certain comrades, and uh, we're hoping that we never have to experience such a thing again. Dying. 